Hey, sailors. Bet you didn't know that Sharia law is being enforced at the Royal Canadian Navy. Indeed, while it's a time-honored tradition to sail the seven seas brandishing tattoos on your forearms, methinks you should stick to images of anchors or mermaids or mer-persons, as the case may be, given that we now reside in Justin Trudeau's people-kind Canada. And please take note that even though the anti-Islamophobia motion M103 is not yet law, it is certainly unofficially being enforced as such, nevertheless, it would seem. Here's the skinny, an image of a Canadian sailor that is now found on social media apparently triggered a member of Generation Snowflake. The offended party, Rob Hutton, quickly took to Twitter to note the following, quote, Saw a Navy guy in Tim's today in uniform and HMCS Fredericton hat, sporting a huge infidel tattoo on his right arm, stylized in the shape of a machine gun. The message is clear and scary as hell, end quote. Really, the message is clear and scary as hell? He doesn't explain. I guess he didn't have enough characters left to make a salient point. Naturally, this story got picked up by the CBC and the state broadcaster posted a cheerleading piece noting how Hutton was offended by the tattoo and felt he had to publicize it because it was on the arm of an armed forces member. And faster than you could say, torpedoes away, our Navy brass sprung into action. Hey, forget about those foreign nations violating Canada's territorial waters to illegally fish in, because a sensitive landlubber spotted apparent Islamophobia at a Tim Horton, so it's all hands on deck. And so it was that the tattoo policy was dredged up from the murky depths of the Navy's bureaucracy trench. It reads, quote, Members of the Canadian Armed Forces shall not acquire tattoos that are visible either in military uniform or in civilian clothing that could be deemed to be offensive, e.g. pornographic, blasphemous, racist, or containing vulgar language or design, or otherwise reflect discredit on the CAF, end quote. <coughs> Whoa, full stop and drop anchor here, because how does infidel find its way onto this hate crime laundry list in the first place. Infidel is not racist, it's not pornographic, nor is it a vulgar term. So by default, that kind of leaves us with blasphemous, given the religious connection. Yet here is the actual definition of infidel, quote, a person who does not believe in religion or who adheres to a religion other than one's own, end quote. Synonyms include unbeliever, disbeliever, non-believer, heathen, pagan, heretic, agnostic, nihilist, non-conformance, and on and on it goes. The thing is, infidel is not exclusive to being a disbeliever of Islam, even though it might be perceived as such thanks to so many Islamists employing that word to describe those who are not Muslim, and those Muslims who are not Muslim enough at least in the eyes of the hardcore imams. But again, infidel is a generic term when it comes to being a non-believer of any faith. Thus, I wonder if the sailor had atheist or agnostic tattooed on his forearm, words that essentially mean the same thing as infidel, would there have been such outrage? <clears throat> I doubt it simply because of the perception that infidel is somehow exclusive to being a non-believer of Islam. But even if infidel was exclusively an Islamic term, the fact remains declaring oneself an infidel isn't really blasphemous. It's actually a self-deprecating statement. The sailor is embracing a slur, proudly proclaiming he's a non-believer. So in this scenario, it is akin to a homosexual person calling him or herself queer or a black person using the N-word as a self-descriptor. In other words, it's all about reclaiming a derogatory term. As well, he's not brandishing a tattoo that states, Islam sucks. And that's a good thing too, because he'd be in the brig right now. I also wonder if there would be such a furor if, say, a Muslim sailor were to brandish a tattoo that stated something like, Soldier of Allah. Yes, I know that tattoos are haram in Islam, but Muslims have been known to get inked and drink alcohol and eat pork, believe it or not. But still, would the Navy brass even dare demand that tattoo get inked over? 
Remember, Admiral, we have this little thing called M103 in Canada. You don't want to sink your career by colliding with that iceberg known as Islamophobia, do you? And as for the gun motif, I know it is oh so fashionable these days for urban progressives to vilify firearms and firearm owners, but this sailor is one of the good guys, not some gangbanger. He's in the Navy. What part of armed forces does the likes of Hutton not get? So what is the unspoken strategy at play here? Well, it seems to me that one can't even remotely imply that there's anything negative about Islam whatsoever. The very idea that Islamists would look upon non-Muslims as being filthy infidels, well, <laughs> that's not really good PR when it comes to this fantasy narrative of Islam being the religion of peace now, is it? And so it is, this deeply offensive tattoo shall be censored in the days ahead so that SJW snowflakes, like Hutton, won't be offended when he drops by his local Tim Hortons and gazes upon the arms of military men. How perversely ironic, for when it comes to this sailor being strapped to the yard arm of social media vilification, let us all keep in mind that this sailor is a patriot, someone willing to make the ultimate sacrifice if need be in defense of Canada and the Western values we embrace, including, one should think, freedom of expression. But this Navy man shall be disciplined, whereas the likes of a domestic terrorist such as Omar Khadr, someone who actually killed an Allied soldier and partially blinded another, well, <laughs> we'll reward him with a $10.5 million check for experiencing hurt feelings. Perhaps this is something for snowflakes like Rob Hutton to keep in mind next time they're down at the donut shop, chomping down on Timbits and surfing the internet, fishing for something else to get mortally offended over. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and never miss another Rebel video.